Hello and welcome to lesson 53 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 52, we dealt with the conditional formatting, the function or the formula that can help us to know the status of our students, the function that can help us to know whether a student has completed payment or the student is yet to pay his or her school fees. So, in this lesson, we are going to work on the fees payment receipt. We are going to insert the various formulas that can help us to fetch data from the student fees payment database system onto the fees payment receipt. So, if you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload a new video, you'll be able to get a notification and watch that particular video and learn from that particular video please don't be stingy make sure that you share this video with your friends comment on this video if you need more videos on this channel you let us know in the comment section of this video all right so without wasting much time let's just get started with today's lesson so what we are going to do first here is to select the fees payment database table like this so we are going to highlight everything here starting from a6 we are starting from a6 here so you select everything you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end then to the last student we want to select everything on the table here or inside the table here and give it a name so which name am i going to give to my table you can decide to give it any name at all but please don't forget the name that you are going to give to this particular table. So let me name my table food like this. So when you are done typing the name at the top here, you hit enter like this. So please, can you see the name here? The name is appearing here. The name is appearing here. So let's leave everything. Let me reselect everything to make sure that that particular name is appearing in our name manager because we are going to use it in the process of inserting the formulas that can help us to fetch the data from the fees payment database table onto the fees payment receipt good so we have the name here so it means this name is saved successfully into the name manager all right so let's quickly move back to the fees payment receipt so let's come to the down here and click on the fees payment receipt so this is the official fees payment receipt that we are going to work on please don't forget that we have two receipts we have the admission receipt then the fees payment receipt in this case we are dealing with the fees payment receipt first we are dealing with the fees payment receipt first all right so we are going to use a function called a vlookup function that is the function that we are going to use for this particular receipt that is the function we are going to use to insert the formulas that can help us to fetch the data from the fees payment database system onto this particular official fees payment receipt so what we are going to do is to insert your equal to sign here equal to sign then v lookup it is already appearing here so you double tap on the v lookup after you are done with that when you come to this particular box here the search box just tap on the search box then you bring comma after clicking inside this particular text box you bring comma then the name that we gave to the fees payment database table we are going to insert that name here so the name that i gave to that particular table when i selected the whole table was food so the name is already appearing here so you double tap on it then you bring another comma we are working on the first column we are working on the first column so we type one then another comma then you bring zero like this then you now close the bracket then you hit enter good so you see this this simply means not applicable because there is no value here so we are going to use a particular formula we are going to use if error function so you insert your equal to sign like this then if error is already appearing here so you double tap on it then v lookup 
the VLOOKUP is also appearing here. Sorry, let me go back. Good. So what we are going to do is that we are going to click inside this particular search box here. Click inside, then you bring comma. Then the name that we gave to the fees payment database table where we selected everything, my own was food. So I will enter my food like this. Then which column are we working with? We are working with the first column. We are working with the first column on the fees payment receipt. So you insert your one like this. Then you bring another comma. Then you insert zero like this. After inserting the zero, then you close the bracket like this. Then you insert another comma. Then you bring your inverted commas. You bring one to open it. Then you bring the other one to close it. Then you close your bracket like this. So when you hit enter, we should be able to see something perfect like this. So when we search one, we should be able to see one popping up here. So let's search one here and let's see what is going to happen. Click on the search here. Okay. The reason why we cannot see anything here is that let's go back to the fees payment database table. Let me show you something because there is no name here. There is no name here. So we need to insert one here as the admission number. Then when we go back to the fees payment receipt, we can be able to see one here. So please, have you seen the one here? We have one popping up here. The reason why there was nothing here is that on the fees payment database table, there is no admission number here. So for us not to face any challenge, we need to duplicate this one. We need to name the admission number column here like this. So we fill in series like this good so we are good to go please don't forget to save your work control s to save your work control s to save your work like this so let's go back to the fees payment receipt like this so now the next thing that we are going to do is to copy this formula here then we paste it in some of the columns here then we edit then we are good to go so let's come to the top here let's exclude the equal to sign then we copy the whole formula here Control c to copy then we come to this side here so let's press the escape key on the keyboard to uh, skip that and so let's insert equal to then Control v to paste so in this case we are working in the second column so we are changing the one to two like this so you hit enter then we will see zero there so we bring our equal to sign again then control v to paste that is column three so we bring the three like that and set your equal to sign we should be able to see the class there so the class appearing there is basic three so you insert your equal to sign again control v to paste we are working in the fourth column so you insert four like that and press enter then let's go to admission date and set your equal to sign control v to paste the formula so we are working inside the fifth column here so we replace the four with five here hit enter we should be able to see zero there then we move to the next one that is going to be the fees so you insert your equal to sign like this then control v to paste so we will change the one here to six because you are working in the safe column press enter then we should be able to see the fees here but because we don't want this video to be long we would like to end it here and continue inserting the formulas in lesson 54 so thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload a new video you'll be able to get a notification and watch that particular video so thank you very much let's meet in lesson 54 bye bye